Hey guys, another little update on the project. Made some headway. Always take like a step or so forward and a step back, you know, on that freaking CNC machine. <laughs> so these two boards are actually pretty good and they're both working. And I went ahead and installed the second one. I was working on making a little better layout because I always find a little flaw on something. I'm just trying to make them perfect. But, uh, oh, what I want to do is make another one for this one. But anyway... Got to get back to that another time. One thing I did get recently is these little rivets here. I mean, look how tiny they are. Let me see if I can zoom in so it stays focused. This is like a through hole, and look at this. Look how small it is to my finger. Dude, I've been using tweezers to try to put those things in. So uh, each one of these little suckers right here is a through hole, and, it, and it's a one millimeter hole. These are 0.9 millimeter diameter, and then the top is flared out a little bit, so I made the pads nice and wide. Nice, quite a bit of flux in there, and it seemed like it pulled the solder underneath the rings of those and everything. It was pretty nice, and soldered them on the back side. Where this board over here, I just I have smaller holes, and then uh, what's in here is just like a piece of you know cut off, you know lead from a resistor or whatnot. And I had like nine or ten of those on it, or maybe it was like eleven of them. I don't know. It was quite a few, all around this chip here, all around here. Just, you know, when I laid out the top layer after it, laying out the bottom layer, and I had to do some vias to the bottom layer. Works out pretty good. So I actually have these mostly complete. I'm trying to find. I had another set of these little screws, but small ones. I want to set on here for the high pressure, low pressure switch which is not 24 volts, it's actually on the 5 volt side. I could have done it 24 volts if I would have used some optical isolators, but it's not the way I did it. And it's no big deal. But so right now I just have them twisted together so it doesn't fault. And this one's still running. Look, I have the uh, thermistors just laying on top of the 24 volt transformer. It's a very slow heat, but I have it set just a, you know above the space temperature I'm standing in and then these two sensors are both laying up there 85 degrees coil coil 85 they actually agree now that I've left them up there a little bit and then uh, this one's act active to this fan is testing so you now drop the temperature down the duty cycle shutting off for the condenser fan you know outdoor fan so it keeps just blowing air across them to cool them with the space temp I'm standing in and then it'll just slowly heat up again Um, so basically the way I have this is, uh, this is my 24 volt thermostat strip. I just have common and red coming, sharing the same transformer as that one for right now for testing. I just have first stage with the reversing valve connected. They go in through the rectifiers, optical isolators, and then into the processor. Processor has the outputs going over here to the relay board I'm using, reversing valve, which is high voltage connections there. That's why I put a separation here and didn't use this one. High voltage on this strip, low voltage, you know, DC 24 volts from the VFD, you know, be interconnecting here. And it works. Like over here, I could click the second stage on. Kick that on. Same thing here if I had something connected. So the 24 volts also goes over into this board and then uh, have this one set for 12 volts which goes through the board over to this board to run these 12 volt relay board and um, I didn't see any that had 5 volt relays or I could have just used one of these and everything 5 volts but just it is what it is and then this one's 5 volts for the uh, processor LCD and then the, the loop for the pressure switches I got all my little clear labels put on there that's what everything is This one thermistor here I brought in, um, evidently it's not a 10K, it must be a 20K because it's like saying 15 degrees on there, which it's not. And it just says the same thing whichever port I plug it into, so I didn't even put my meter on it, but I just know that's what it is. It's just not a 10K. But yeah, um, what I came up with is using some of these little, I had these extra little metal panel, but I don't know what you call it, little metal standoffs. So I drilled holes 
um, bolted this down and then a lot of this other stuff I bolted with the nylon screws there. There we go. Got all the nylon standoff screws just throughout. This one here, nylon screws, except for this board, I went ahead and, because I'm like, I want to ground the, the plane, you know. Every once in a while, this one glitches. Like, it's weird. I come home from work, and I'll be like, this will be all scrambled, and it just will not re... And then it won't work unless I take the ground from my, you know, home off of it. And then after a while, all of a sudden, I can put my ground on it again. Whoa, that's not good for it. And it will uh, work, and it's been working for probably like six hours again. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm going to have to just double check things on there make sure nothing's weird the way it's touching on anything but I don't know shook this thing a bunch of times who knows might be a glitch or interference or who knows what I noticed this one here that I just made is fairly rock steady so I just gotta find the screw terminals are on. I'll have to order some more on Amazon if I don't find them. And then basically, these will be uh, able to, uh, I'll just be able to take this out and install the whole freaking thing into the, each of those units. These are just all ready to go. All these four screw mounts, and it's in there. Thermostat connections, and then the, the VFD connections. And then just have to stick. Uh, on a couple other things and that's it. I gotta make something about the LCDs too. I didn't quite have enough room on here for the LCDs. But let's make another bracket for it. Or I can make a bracket that comes off of here. I don't know. But anyway, that's what's going on. Won't be long but we get these in. I actually kinda had some of these boards. I actually got a couple of these other boards actually work too. It's just I wasn't happy with them. I'm like the traces are too small, the pads for the capacitors. So I was adding some, you know, silicone around them. And maybe I would have worked, but I, you know, I just didn't trust it. Because if you, if you grab one of, some of those capacitors, it'll break the connection, I think. In fact, I might have showed this the other video, but I think the same thing happened on these. So I had to go back into the CAD and basically make the pads bit for bigger capacitors. And then it's got way more meat to uh, solder those two. So those are way more stout. And I don't have to add all that goop. Should be okay unless somebody is, you know, is rough with them. So at this point, I should probably get at least one of these ready to go and get it put in that first unit and prepare to install it in place of the Lennox unit. Doing it in place of the Lennox unit rather than the Goodman unit um, because the Lennox unit's already R410 and it runs and everything. And for the Goodman unit is R22, so I'd have to... Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for an air handler. I have two options. I'm either gonna go buy an air handler, which is plan A, which is what I figured I was gonna do. Gotta get that thing up in the attic. Um, the interesting thing is I actually have a flat uh, carrier, uh, you know, for the VRF air handler. I could just, you know, control the fan with a simple uh, interface and use it. It's just that it. The, the return and supply plenums are going to have to be totally remade because it's one of those, you know, they're more like pancakes. Low profile units for above ceilings and whatnot. Kind of leaning against that, it'd just be too weird up there <laughs> in the attic. It would just be, it just, someone would just laugh if they went up there. Oh, even though it'd probably be a good air handler, but probably, probably just going to buy a, a new air handler. So I get one pretty close to cost. Shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, that ought to do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share, and all that stuff. And we'll get the Frankenstein running. Catch you guys later.